Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. Today we're going to give you our six month review of the Lone Star Grills 24 by 48 offset smoker. The Lone Star Grill's 24 by 48 offset smoker is a behemoth of a smoker that's built like a tank. Weighing in at right around 1,100 pounds, this is one serious smoker. We picked up the Lone Star to be our primary offset smoker here at the Barbecue Lab, and we were looking for a sizable grill that we could cook multiple recipes on at a time, and we found this six-month-old Lone Star for sale on Facebook. Purchasing a grill of this size means that you can't exactly throw it in the back of a truck to take it home, though. We grabbed a trailer and made the four-hour trip to pick it up and loaded up the truck with anyone within earshot who was willing to help. Bringing a trailer with a roll-up ramp turned out to be one of the best decisions we made that day because this 24 by 48 has the upgraded 8-inch casters, which made rolling it onto the ramp incredibly easy. The sheer weight of the grill made it easy to offload as well, and the size of the caster surprisingly makes a grill of this size easy to maneuver around in spite of its weight. This unit is called the 24 by 48 model because the main cooking chamber of the grill is 48 inches long by 24 inches deep. There are a total of four shelves on the grill, and each shelf slides out completely to make loading food easy. Whether you're pulling out a brisket to spray down or completely pulling the rack out to clean, these shelves are really easy to work with. The Lone Star Grill's 24x48 is an offset smoker, which means that the fire and the heat source is set off to the side, limiting direct exposure to the primary cooking area. The firebox in the Lone Star is huge, and that's a great thing. The firebox itself measures 24 by 24 inches in size, and our model has been upgraded with the insulated firebox option. On a Lone Star, they take their traditional firebox, wrap it in two inches of high heat insulation, and then build a second quarter inch firebox around that insulation. We have a double walled and insulated firebox on this unit, and it is crazy efficient. On the Lone Star website, they reference that their smokers are used to a new split of wood every 45 minutes or so to hold temperatures steady. We've never experienced an offset smoker that uses so little fuel once it's up to temperature. We found that getting this Lone Star up to temp initially is easily accomplished with two chimneys of charcoal. This grill is a massive amount of metal to get up to temperature, and it takes a good amount of heat to get it done quickly. Once this grill is up to your desired temperature though, we found it easy to maintain a consistent temp. The grill comes with an air intake damper on the firebox door, as well as an exhaust damper on the smokestack. We found that we like to run this smoker wide open though, instead of setting the dampers to control our fire. We set the firebox damper and the exhaust damper to completely open to start the grill, and we usually leave them there for the duration of the cook. We would control the heat on the grill by the size of the fire that we built in the firebox, which allows for the thin blue smoke that we all love. One of the things that we rarely saw with this grill was dirty or black smoke, and as long as we made sure the charcoal was well lit before we added it to the firebox, we didn't have dirty smoke. The same thing goes for the wood that we switched to after the grill was up to temperature. We would load in an unlit split of wood to the left side of the firebox and build our fire on the right side of the firebox for every cook. This setup allowed each new split of wood to warm up to the point where it was ready to combust as soon as we rolled it over to the fire as, as the log before it needed replaced. By using the logs that lit almost immediately, we never ended up with the dirty smoke that comes from a log trying to ignite. The cooking chamber has two doors and they are heavy. I'm about six feet tall, and it's a stretch for me to grab a hold of the door handle with the upgraded eight inch wheel package. And actually, the standard wheels are only five inches tall, so there's a three inch height difference with this unit. Just be aware as you decide which wheel package is right for you. The doors are the same quarter inch steel that is found throughout the entire unit, so while heavy, also have a great seal during a cook. The only time we've ever had smoke leaking out a door was when we failed to push the cooking grate back in far enough and it left a gap. 
if we ever saw smoke coming out the door, we knew that we needed to push the grate back in, but a few times the door actually took care of that for us because of the sheer weight of the door. There's a solid handle welded to the grill that allows for easy movement around flat surfaces. Without the off-road package that's available through the Lone Star website, we haven't ventured into the yard with this unit because of the sheer weight of the grill. 1,100 pounds is hard to push around on anything other than patio or paved surface, so we can't recommend that this unit is ready for the yard without the off-road package that upgrades the casters to golf cart tires. The standard firebox weighs about 995 pounds, but it's still a beast to move around soft surfaces like grass. One of the features on the 24x48 that we love is the ball valve for cleaning. When it comes time to drain the grease, just push the lever and the grill empties. When we clean the grill with a hose or a pressure washer, we can set the ball valve to open and all the water flows out the drain and into the bucket for disposal. We purchased the slide out ash pan and it is heavy metal. It's handy to catch the ash when cleaning it out, but in our experience, it doesn't catch everything. So I would suggest getting the ash rake as well to get the ash that the pan leaves behind. That's one thing we didn't get, and it would definitely make clean out easier. We've cooked everything from brisket to pork butt to turkey on the Lone Star 24 by 48, and it produces a great product. Being a stick burner type of pit, we get an incredibly deep smoke ring that we find hard to reproduce on many other types of smokers. If you've never cooked with an offset smoker, it's worth pointing out that this isn't a set it and forget it type of smoker. Like almost any offset, this grill needs fed about every 45 minutes to an hour to keep temperatures consistent. With this kind of grill, it's hard to get very far away from the unit during a cook, but it's all the more reason to grab a few cold ones in a lawn chair and make a day of it. If you're looking for a grill that you can dial in like a pellet grill and leave for the day, this probably isn't the unit for you. But if you're looking for a, one of the most solid offset smokers on the market that's built like a tank, you should consider giving Lone Star a look. We've been constantly impressed by the quality of the smoker, and we can't argue with the results that we've had with the food we've cooked. And we've cooked a lot. Check out our YouTube channel if you'd like to see some of the food that we've cooked on this grill, including everything from smoked potatoes, appetizers, and all of the competition meats we all love. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified when we release a new video. We created this channel for you with the goal of helping you become a better outdoor cook. We put out one to two videos each week to help you win your weekend, and we have some great content coming up that you're not going to want to miss. You can also find our recipes, tips, and techniques online at www.thebarbecuelab.com. I'm David Gafford, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on The Barbecue Lab.